Hey everyone, I'm Half-Baked Sims and today we're going to go through a really short tutorial on how to actually use your iPad or a secondary screen to control the MCDU in the Fly-By-Wire A320. So for those who don't have the A320 Fly-By-Wire version, um, it is a free uh, mod that is developed by Fly-By-Wire Simulations and what it does is it flushes out the A320 that Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, has by default it's it's okay um, but like a lot of the planes in Microsoft Flight Simulator that came out of the box not everything works like it should and what fly-by-wire simulations did is they took the A320 completely overhauled uh, the flight model the interior all of the operating systems um, and the computers to make it as realistic as they can possibly be um, so it's not a complete mod just quite yet I know that they add something um, almost every week, but for now it's the best we got in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So, uh, and you, you can see in my screen here, uh, I'm assuming a lot of people already have the uh, fly-by-wire simulations um, installer installed already or the plane installed. Um, the first step you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to switch from the stable version to the development version for right now. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you more about this later, but if you're in the stable version, which most people are when they first download it, you'll click on development and this button right here, um, you can't see it actually, let me move over. This button right here will uh, turn from update or whatever, it'll turn to switch version. So you hit that, it'll download, reinstall the entire mod. Um, it won't mess up any uh, liveries that you have. It won't mess up anything in your community folder. All it's going to do is switch the version. It's going to add a couple more files. There might be a little bit of uh, bugginess. Um, that's why it's a development version instead of a stable version. So once you've got that switched over, you're going to go into your game. Uh, and I recommend doing this first, loading up the A320 uh, fly-by-wire. It's going to take a lot longer than usual, kind of when you first installed it to reboot and reload into the game. After you do this initial startup, um, you know, you go to the map, click a departure and hit go. Um, after you do this initial startup, it'll take about, you know, five to 10 minutes longer than it should, depending on your computer. It'll go back to how it used to load. So you don't have to worry about the long load times if you're worried about that after that. So let's get into the easy, how easy they've made this. So once you've installed the development version, and you've started the game up, you don't, have, you don't have to do it in this order, you can do this out of order as long as you have the dev version installed. You'll actually go into your Microsoft Flight Simulator folder wherever you have it, you'll go to the community folder, and you'll find the Fly-By-Wire A320neo aircraft folder. Click on that. So you're gonna notice, even in the stable version, there is an MCDU server option. So if you have the stable version, you'll see this folder, but it'll be empty. If you have the new version, if you have the development version of the game as of this recording, you will have a server. So what this does is this runs a link on your IP address between uh, the game and uh, the app. Um, and you have to be in network, right? So you can't, you can't do this you know, if you're for some random reason, your computer's on a different IP address than you currently are, you won't be able to access it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open that. Um, it's pretty simple. The first thing it's gonna actually do before you get to this step, it's really weird. It's gonna ask you if you want to use your own printer for the, uh, the weather report, the, the report printout. You can do it in A320 that you can do in this mod. Um, just hit no if you don't want to use a printer, just hit N, hit enter, and it'll connect to your simulator provided that your simulator is running and you're in the A320 loaded in to like we are now. So once that's done, you're going to get two options. I'm hiding it up here. There's another line above here, but it's my IP address. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy either this right here into your browser. So let's, uh, let's, whoop. Oh, this thing sucks. Okay, so we're gonna copy this. We're actually going to go into a browser. Punch that in and boom. So 
right now this is on a second screen that I have through Chrome and if you come into the game here you will actually be able to see over here if I punch a button it's going to change it in the game and it's pretty much one-to-one -one. I haven't had any issues with lag or any kind of um, input delay or anything so once once you're loaded up you can pretty much just you can just ignore your MCDU down there and you can just run it off a secondary screen now what's really cool is you can actually run it off of an iPad or any kind of separate device like a laptop or a phone even so what you would do it's the same setup except it's a little bit longer you would actually punch in your full IP address and then you would do a semicolon uh, and it spits out a random number. Once, you're, once you've done that, you'll actually be able to control it on the screen here. So if we go into, I'll make this a little bit larger here. Um, oh, I guess you can ignore that for now. So I'll just get rid of this. Okay, so if you go into the MCDU here, you'll actually see when I punch a button, it'll change it on the screen. So, like I said, pretty quick, pretty easy. All you have to do, uh, the main setup, the hardest part is downloading, not the hardest part, but the most annoying part is downloading the experimental version, not the experimental version, but the development version of the mod. Once you get into the game, once you've loaded it up and you know it takes a while longer than it should, um, you just open that server uh, app, I would pin it to something so you can access it quicker instead of going through the community folder. You just open that and then your code will change kind of sometimes. You might have to repunch in the end of it, but for the most part, you'll be able to control it on your iPad, your phone, your tablet, anything that can access the internet. You could do it on your smart fridge if you wanted to. So um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope everybody... Uh, gets it going pretty easy. I think it's one of the cooler features that you can do in these games. Um, I'm really hoping for when the uh, PMDG 737 comes out, they have a similar feature for their FMS or FMC or whatever you want to call it. But for now, um, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see me. I, as, as you can see on my screen, I am live 1 p.m. Central every single day during the week. Uh, I stream usually about one to two flights, depending on how long they are. Um, right now we're flying the A320 a lot, but in the future um, we'll be flying the 737. Um, we'll do night flights, so anytime you guys want to drop by, um, you can see my scheduled streams. So thank you for watching, and have a great day.